An online petition to change state law now has thousands of signatures. The family of eight-month-old Amaya Robertson wants harsher penalties for people who don't immediately report missing children. Yeah, Amaya disappeared in March. She wasn't reported missing until a week after she was last seen. News 8's Jenny Dreisler is outside of IMPD headquarters. Jenny, you talked to the baby's family. That's right, I did. Mike and Brooke, I spoke to actually the sister of Amaya's potential father. She's the one who started this online petition, and she says that something needs to be done. If someone would have reported her missing within the first day, the whole outcome could have been different. That's exactly why Patricia Turner, Amaya's potential aunt, created this online petition on change.org, asking for Indiana lawmakers to create a new bill called Amaya's Law. It's heartbreaking to not know um, where she's at, what, what happened to her, what the true story is. Um, nobody is coming straight, and, and we need answers. IMPD says baby Amaya was last seen on March 9th in the care of Robert Lyons. Lyons was the boyfriend of Amaya's mother, Amber Robertson. Amber is not considered a suspect in the case. Lyons is. He has not been arrested or charged. We had so much time lost, a week, week and a half from the last time Amaya was seen until she was reported missing. Right now, there is not a law in Indiana that penalizes parents or guardians for waiting to report a child missing. Turner's online petition to change that has gotten 3,200 signatures since it started in May. Turner hopes if the legislation is passed, it will not only lead to answers for Amaya, but prevent another family from going through this too. We need that law set here too. It needs to be a nationwide law. It shouldn't just be state to state. I and mean, we need to protect not only our children, but other children that we see. It's sad. I mean, you shouldn't be told to report your child missing. If they're missing, you report them missing immediately. And we've got a link to that petition on our website right now at wishtv.com. By the way, I reached out to IMPD. They said there are no new updates in the case, although Lyons is expected back in court tomorrow on a separate forgery charge. Live in downtown, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.